All right, so we're going to be making a varsity jacket, which is extremely simple since there's a preset for it. Simply select your character and click on new cloth with the cloth type set to top. And position the points, the neck, the chin, the nipple, the shoulder, the elbow, and the wrist, and the pelvis. So click on generate top rig, and you can now set the circles, so the neck, however large you want it to be, like this. And the shoulder, we don't want it too small, so we're just, oh, just going to scale it like that. And for the sleeve, we're just going to bring it to this length and scale it. Then for the waist, you can make it this big and bring it lower. And however um, large you want the bottom to be, you can scale it appropriately. So click on generate top and we have a top for our character. So I'm just going to go into sculpt mode from the side and use the elastic brush to arrange this chest area so it's not um, poking forward. And when we're satisfied with the shape of it, um, just remove any in intersections like here at the inflate. We're okay with the shape of it. You can now come to Divine Presets and click on Vars Turn to Varsity Jacket. Uh, you can set the settings here. If you want materials, I want materials, so I enable that and open. We want it to be an open jacket. So click on Turn to Varsity Jacket and it will turn the top into a Varsity Jacket like this. this at the back you can see here, um, these vertices have separated, so I'm just going to join them together. Press G to snap them back together. And then click on bind. But before we do that, we can also come into sculpt mode and pull it closer together using the grab brush or elastic brush. Since it's a bit too, a bit too separated. And I think this is okay. In edit mode, you can also dissolve this vertex here. Press X and dissolve vertices if you want that part a bit more sharp. All right, when we're done, come into object mode and click on bind. So that will bind it to the, to the character. You can now press play and we have a varsity jacket. You can add buttons and textures and all sorts of divine accessories very easily. I'm gonna add a few buttons right now actually. So pull open the asset browser. If you have divine assets, um, you can add um, whichever kind of buttons you want. So I'm going to use this button here on this side. You can scale it up and then click on Divine Accessory. So that will make the button snap onto it. So you can press Shift D to duplicate the buttons and make a few like that. And I'm going to add this one to this side. Click on Divine Accessory. And you can now place it like that. One, two, three, four. Then you can click on nothing and then click on bind all and that will bind all the buttons but i'm going to select them on you can also select all the buttons and click on bind selected um, okay so yeah that is basically the workflow for creating a varsity jacket using divine cuts